hello everyone welcome back to my channel i'm maureen luck i have my friend over here the ig herself and today we have an interesting video we want to share things that girls hate about guys or men yes in relationships there are things that we don't like about men and i know they have things that they don't like about us so let us start for them and then yeah we have things that we don't like in relationship me personally i have like a couple of things that i don't like people to approach me with even before we get into a relationship first of all is the dressing code hey <laughs> let me tell you you approached me the very first time we've met and then uh you have not dressed well when i mean dressing well just wear clean clothes first of all you wear um what do we call them we have like types of clothes that i don't like baggy baggy Kuna. baggy clothes they mm. make you look have, old you have clothes that even if you wear them i cannot introduce you <laughs> to my parents at home comb your hair exactly comb your hair comb shaggy your hair. like rugged hair yeah there is fashion there is like afro hair maybe kinky hair mm -hmm. then there is like the dreadlocks when they are neat mm. you look good but the shaggy one you have maybe even a short hair you can't scratch mm. if you that have one. if you have short hair just comb your hair very well and then wear your clothes if you have clothes at a sana just wash them they be clean clean, clean clothes and then something else it's you bathe <laughs> we have i we have this nini it's called body smell Sweet. like you can't take it away though you can control it you can control the it. deodorant mm. the taking a shower and like imagine you are in a relationship with somebody perfumes mm. and then you go with this person you go with him to introduce him to your friends and then the first thing this for your friends uh approach them with is like weird smell and dirty clothes you won't even be comfortable with this person yeah so men are just supposed to be clean first of all just be clean yeah about cleanliness mm -hmm. you are lazy to a place like even you can't shower you can't wash your clothes and you want someone outside there like seriously that one even you, are, you aren't doing justice to yourself me there is this thing about cleanliness your mouth <laughs> So <laughs> you can <laughs> you can see someone from a distance <laughs> eh? they they look good from a distance they look good but when that person comes near you and open his mouth like seriously you are they like brush even their teeth. like that one like no it is too much even you can't even you will pretend <laughs> There is nothing happening, but it's true. Yeah, it's true. Some, some, at home, some men, like, some men don't. That one is just teeth. a turn. Yeah, a turn mm. off. They don't brush, and I understand there are some people who have some diseases like, yeah, like amoeba, H. pyroli, whereby they affect their stomach. So that false smell, it comes from the tummy, like it comes from the stomach and not the mouth mm. so sometimes you might be mistaken some people think you are smelling your mouth but at the same time it you, is a condition yeah, it, it is a medical condition mm. in your stomach so it is good to visit the medical facilities every now and then so you are checked up and to, at some point to boost your self-esteem even as a person because i'm very sure if you have a stinking mouth you know mm, you know even and the body smell you yeah, know you know so just care for yourself if mm. it is about medical mm. visit a facility somewhere and those who don't brush eh? kindly brush do justice okay, to yourself is, just the uh, colgate is very it's very cheap nowadays and toothbrush it doesn't even cost you more than 50 shillings yeah. like half a dollar very it's it's like like small money yeah it is small a disgusting money. thing you might be looking good you have you have the lines you have the potential mm -hmm. but the false male it just sends someone away yeah and then something else what this one i know i'm not alone in this we have we are so many who complain about this thing it's uh about uh men who complain about sending us fair and most women i don't know they eat fair they complain too much why are you even complaining in the first place if you want me to come, 
if you want me to come to your house just send the money if you trust me because first of all if you approached me to to come to your house definitely you trust me that i will come so why do you tell me at i just come to your house and then you will refund my money why <laughs> why should it be like that yeah mm. this, why should it be like that to some level this just uh, like it shows you are stingy so you are like you come with your fare then i'll reimburse you the fare mm -hmm. I, it's like you want to refund me the fare after i come like seriously Concerned. That is, yeah, that is not caring. I know some of you will come at me telling me I don't know this and this. It is from your own experience that that you maybe you think that you can't send fair to the second woman or third woman. First of all, if you have so many women in your life, just know you can get sick any any time. So don't try, don't be sending fair to like so many people until you now conclude that yeah. every woman. By every the way, girl, it might be. They are sending money to many women. To many women. There are those guys, they have a lot of women outside there. Mm. Then you can send even uh, fare for 10 women. Then by the end of the day, you are like, eh? These women, they are eating my, eh? eating my fare. Oh, women love money. Yes, by the way, I love money. But if you trust me and uh, we know each other. First of all, we are supposed to know each other for you to send money. Me, I don't like you sending me money on the first mm. day and I don't even know you. I will nah. eat. Trust me, we'll eat that money. But if you've known me like for a while, we have like this good vibe, and then you send me money, I will come. You don't have to hesitate, mm. like yeah. Like you, now you are meeting me for the first time to make to your siku mm. that very day, and you're sending me fair to come to your house the next day. I will not come. Yeah, I will not come. Even that one is bad manners, and I think that one is a turn off. Like mm. you meet a a lady somewhere, then you are like, come to my house, like seriously. And to come to my house and since the very first yeah, day, for the yeah those do you want those me first to do meetings house? and not meeting the first mm. meetings should be in public in public yeah. places because ladies we have our own insecurities like we are not uh, comfortable we obviously mm. you can't be like comfortable with someone you don't know you mm. rarely know and you expect like someone to come visit you at your house and maybe you never know these people they are like cutting on cost mm. they're like when you come i'll just cook food from the house take someone outside in the public in a mm. resort in a restaurant somewhere nice with place. beautiful sceneries mm. like seriously it's yeah it's not a must that i come to your house the very first time so if you want a lady to come to your house know this person by the way not all ladies are also good you can they can come to your house and you never know so time mm. take your time to know this person first so that you can send the fair let them call you that you are stingy the very first time you meet but you know what you are looking for mm. don't just send money and then conclude that all women are stingy are, are they love money they eat our fair <laughs> take your time yeah and um you're in a relationship and then maybe this guy of yours has like so many at besties now what is that what yeah. are you doing with female besties and i'm here yeah then there are these guys they have you have a guy the main guy like is your guy but by the by the end of the day this guy has a line of women at with him and when you try to question this person is like these are my friends and you know this person is not even ready to cut that friendship Th that friendship because like, seriously what do you want in life mm, so these if are you just come along with, like so many women around because you. even me as a lady when i tolerate a lot of guys mm -hmm. yeah like maybe i'm i'm dating you but i have a line of guys and you ask me i confirm they are my friends they are just besties and these besties they are like I can't cut the friendship. What will you think? It's even uh, irrelevant in marriage because yeah. suppose your husband has like a chain of women alongside you. Now what is that? Because at the end of the day, you won't be secure with your man. Mm -hmm. You will tend to think that this man yeah. is not even uh, okay with me being here as the wife. You see. So you're supposed to, if you're in a relationship, just cut some women off. Yeah, some link that might ruin because you know what you want. Mm. If you know what you want, go for what you want. And if you're not ready for this girl, tell her you mm. are not ready. Then I think mm. many guys, like, they don't, they are not ready mm. for the relationship. They are just going with the trend because this has, like, my friends, they have they girls. Have girls so me, I want one. to have girls. Mm. Or I'm just dating a number of girls. Then I know a time will come and I'll marry my woman somewhere. Mm. You know, you just dating these girls and you are waiting to marry your woman somewhere. You never know. You might get in marriage while you are sick. <laughs> you are very, very sick. And you haven't started a family yet. Mm -hmm. So 
caution it is just good to be cautious we also have this thing that maybe women don't like men in a relationship being dictators they give you like they tell you everything they want for the relationship and they don't yeah, mind they about command. Mm, they don't mind about your feelings what they say is what they want yeah mm, there is them. no like compromise that one is very unfair mm. because you know like me coming from my home then meeting you so that we can make another home i think we have to we need to have a mutual understanding mm. in a manner that like there is that you need to be considerate not mm. like always it is you like it is all about you that one is all yeah, about it you. is all about you me mm. i can't like whatever you've said it is that and that is the end of it i don't compromise like i can't have my own opinion mm. that one is very unfair mm. and for ladies and then, we don't like that and then to the extent some ladies are being beaten in their relationship because maybe maybe she did not do what the man wanted them to do so you know if you reach this point that you are being beaten in a relationship no you'll be beaten until you, you die, die. Uh, yeah, I think those are toxic relationships. Mm. Like seriously, if you are dating you someone so you and he lady. is beating you, yes, and this guy has not married you yet, just be rest assured. All the time in your marriage, you will be beaten, and maybe who knows, you will be the one mm. who is in the news. Like you know what, Maureen Luck was found dead. At, at violence in the, yeah, if you are in a relationship, married. you just see the red light walk away from that toxic relationship before you get in marriage even if he, he or she like mistakenly pushes you in one way like like you had, you had an idea disagreement yeah and then this guy this person beats you that very first time instead of you sitting down and agreeing on what went wrong such things if he beats you no you'll just have a very tough time in that relationship just get out these are the things that girls don't like if you beat me <coughs> Trust me, you go. I won't care if you've given me which amount of money. We, I'll just like, yeah, because we people, we have family. We have people who love us, who mm. cherish us. Me so coming, like me plus you, it is just we want to make a family. Another so family. don't mm. be that like manipulative. And you are like, by the end of the day, by the end of the day, I might not be with you, but mm. yes, I'll get another uh, good person somewhere. Mm. There are good people outside here. So don't be with this one person who is very like violent in a toxic relationship mm. just do walk away mm. you know the kind of person that you're living in another ah, thing hmm. you have so many things by the way you have a bunch yeah, of things like you will just summarize so that you guys can understand the like the bigger part of what you want to say so we have this other thing that um, men have this you can find a guy who is more into the boys club what what the boys boys club decides is what he is going to do in his or a relationship or if you have a disagreement this guy will go and tell the, the fellow friends and they will what decide for him yeah they will decide for him what he's supposed to do with you yeah if you see this kind of guy that is even it is very mature mm, yeah so because much. when you have an issue you guys as mature people you need to sit down mm. and talk things out Instead or if you think you need a third party let it not be that the boys club those your friends you take it maybe to someone like your parent mm. they might have that or honest spiritual yeah spiritual. like they have that honest advice you know even sometimes your friends can can mislead you can mislead you because not everyone wants good things for you mm. the world of nowadays it's like everybody has a hater mm -hmm. everybody has a hater so your things discuss them be mature enough and discuss them and discuss yeah and wife and no matter how things are hard you just talk things out if you can't solve them then take to to like another person like maybe your family members or a religious person mm. rather than you being violent or taking it to your mm -hmm. friends like you broadcasting it mm -hmm. isn't a good thing yes that has been some of the issues we had to highlight about things that women hate about guys and if you think there is a burning issue we haven't highlighted you comment yeah we can we will interact with the comment section i always reply to a comment mm -hmm. so leave a comment leave a like 
and kindly if you are watching this video you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe mm. yeah yeah and also i have a youtube channel and if you are here and you are team ig you came from my youtube channel kindly subscribe to this channel yeah subscribe to this channel and show her some love we have really amazing content we have done collabs together some good videos together yeah. yeah so kindly subscribe this channel we have much in stock and lastly if you have any suggestion of something anything you feel like i can do or we can do the yeah. ig and more in luck leave it in the comment section we will do it right away mm -hmm. your wish is our command and that has been more in luck and the ig goodbye Bye.